Well, we have more thunderstorms possible mainly in northern Minnesota today and hot steamy conditions through Thursday. Cooler for the weekend and especially next week and a good chance of weekend rain. So picked up some good rainfall yesterday in the northern part of the state. Now this will not be counted in tomorrow's drought monitor report uh, because that data cutoff time is 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. But the storms actually held together, brought some rain into parts of the northern and eastern suburbs. Uh, up to about a half inch around North St. Paul, Shoreview, some of those spots had some severe weather reports with those storms initially too, even a funnel cloud east of Grand Forks, uh, some wind damage reports in northwestern Minnesota and some large hail around Detroit Lake. So uh, some of those storms producing uh, some activity yesterday. We also saw, of course, uh, some Warmer temperatures, we're going to th see things heat up even more. Uh, low 90s across a good swath of central Minnesota today and tomorrow. And muggy dew points, uh, 60s to low 70s dew points today, probably tomorrow too. So get used to that humid air sticking around here for a couple of days. Not quite as steamy as it was last week, but awful close at times. And then we'll see some drier air moving as we head into uh, late Thursday. Those uh, CAPE values or energy available for storms getting a little high in central Minnesota, especially today, um, but not quite what we saw in northwestern Minnesota yesterday. So we had that slight risk of severe storms yesterday. Today's risk, more of a marginal risk, level one out of five. So on the low end risk for parts of east central uh, and northeastern Minnesota, though I think it's going to be mainly an east central northwestern Wisconsin uh, risk of some couple of strong storms. And the threats will be some damaging wind gusts and large hail once again. So as we head into the evening hours, here's a couple of those storms. I also think those storms are going to be more isolated today, not as widespread. Uh, can't rule out one holding together, maybe making it through the metro, but mostly this is going to be just north of the Twin Cities area. And then we're looking at some warm temperatures again tomorrow, back into the low 90s. Uh, it will feel more like the mid to upper 90s, both today and tomorrow afternoons. And then we're looking at this hopeful chance of weekend rain. This is the European model in particular. Rain and thunderstorms develop uh, probably Saturday night and then kind of on and off spinning around Sunday into Sunday night. Now the American, Canadian and European models differ on the tracks, but the official forecast from the NOAA's WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, widespread inch is probably the average that we're looking at all the models. Uh, and so when we plot the American, European, Canadian models together, you can kind of see some of these differences. The American model is the least uh, bullish on rainfall across southern Minnesota, but the Twin Cities, either way, kind of on the northern edge of some of this potential rain. And then as we head into next week, it's going to be cooler. Highs uh, only in the, the 70s, maybe upper 60s for the middle of next week. So at or below normal uh, temperatures as we head into next week. So if you like the steamy stuff, these are the last few days of it, at least for a while. Probably a warm up again mid-August, but the second week of August next week is looking a little on the cooler side. So we have those weekend rain chances and then cooler temperatures next week.